so welcome back. Today I'm with Dalmont and we are here checking out his latest... It's sort of a bit, bit like a fleet review, but it's just one ship. So we're going to be looking at lots of revisions stage by stage. This was a cheese build, so it did take 24 hours total. And we're going to take a look at all of his revisions. So uh, Dalmont, if you'd like to tell us a little bit about the first one here. Well, um... Generally, I, I sketched a few things out and then uh, just decided to kind of put blocks in space, if you will. Um, I wanted to do something that had an arrowhead design initially. That was kind of the entire motivation for the ship, was in the forward quarter. Yep. Something a little sleek and uh, to kind of follow up on my other uh, hammerhead design that I had done uh, previously. You can always check out the Stuff and Things videos for that one. Uh, so this is, this is pretty much it, just getting general blocks in, um, coming up with a basic shape. Uh, started at the core room, worked my way forward, and then worked all the way back to the core room with the actual shelling. Um, there's two different kinds of shelling, which are uh, additive and uh, subtractive shelling, is what I call it. Subtractive shelling, uh, which I did at the front, provides uh, a flatter surface area, if you will. And it's typically good for fighters and things with more pointy bits on them. Uh, and then additive shelling, which is uh, towards the back, provides a more bulbous and uh, rounded look. Mm. So this is uh, actually a combination between the two of those. Okay, so are we going to go on to the next one at this point? Absolutely, that's pretty much all there is to say about that one. Uh, and the next one's very similar, just kind of working out the general shape, how long do I want it to be, where do I want the, uh, the major details to be, um, what do I want the ship to look like, yep. potentially. So this is, this is it uh, in its last iteration before I add the last of the main body features, which is in the next one. Right. Now, at this stage, I added the engines, and uh, I wanted them to kind of stick out on their own, be a little bit independent from the rest of the uh, fuselage. I needed a way to blend that together, so we went ahead and added the hood on there. So this is the completed fuselage, more or less. Well, the next one, or...? Nope, this one right here. The one we're looking at. That's the, uh, the main body, all put together, sands, wedging, and detail. Nice. That's what they look like before I start putting pokey things on them. <laughs> so, then we can uh, move on to the next version. And the next version is where it really starts to take shape. Uh, wingy bits start going on, as do the first hints of wedging up towards the front. Uh, sometimes it's a little difficult to tell what you're going to look like until you have a few wedges on it. So, at this point I wanted to try a little more complex shape for the wings. Stuck them on there. Just kind of played around with it. Felt, uh, tried to feel out what would look good. Nice. I see that. And I added the uh, bridge, uh, similar to similar to yours, Tom, with the uh, submarine-style wings coming off. Of oh, I love the submarine wings. So heading over to the next one, that's when the wedging really starts. Um, pretty much just started at the front of the ship and uh, worked my way back on this one. Yep. And it was from this point forward, now that everything's where it needs to be, it's detail, detail, detail. So we've roughed out the uh, shape of the ship. Yep. And uh, now we're going to make it look good. So it's really important to get the silhouette correct first, I think. Because otherwise you end up with cubes. Yes. Or lopsided, half baked, uh, detailed boxes of garbage. But uh, if you get the silhouette down and then start detailing, it'll work out a lot better. But uh, yeah, pretty much this is all wedging from from this point on. Um, you'll notice at the front end there's been a, a bit of a change throughout this whole process. It was started out with an arrowhead kind of design and. Through the rest of this build, you'll notice that I'm trying to figure out what in the hell to do with it. Because <laughs> it just didn't feel right. So if we move on to the next one, um, this is where I start adding a little bit of color. Uh, refine the wedges further, move it back, kind of uh, draw up the shape, get the gist of uh, you know, what this thing's really going to look like. And this is kind of where everything goes, goes ham to the next level. To get a few um, shots on that, so we've got the red lights in, got plenty more wedge in. It's very nice. Let's 
shiny. Okay. <laughs> you see the wings are a lot more finished off in this one. It's an interesting pattern that as well, the uh, corner using the corners. It's very tight. Yeah, I like it to be a little bit um, straight. We've got all these nice straight edges in the game and then uh, it's difficult to make them on a 45, but now with all these new orientations, there's no excuses. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty much just laying out the more heavy detailing. Um, like I said, the two, the, the one area to watch is uh, definitely in the front towards the uh, nose section. And the other area to watch is uh, kind of underneath in the back. You'll see uh, kind of a, a progression where I go from just a bunch of steps to something that actually looks like a functional part of the ship here. Right, right. So if, we, so if we head over to the next one, uh, the detailing got taken once again by the next level. Um, no huge differences in this. Uh, the most most of them happened at the uh, at the rear section of the ship, and uh, in the middle you'll notice there's some more more black uh, sections on it. The wings have been uh, clipped down. If you look at the top of the wing, actually now there's more negative space in there. Uh, I've kind of carved into the hull added a few more uh, stripes as well. Oh yeah, I see that. Trying to work out uh, what's going to go on with the uh, engine pods at the back since they kind of look like we're all a part of this, the ship too much uh, instead of being separated. We're trying to throw some negative space in there to make this thing look bigger than it actually is. It's only 127 meters long. Mm. So she's pretty small. Uh, not quite a fighter, but definitely more of a, a runabout sized ship. And uh, with the next couple, you're pretty much going to see the same thing. Um, the next one in line marks a few major changes to the uh, front Ooh, section. Big chunk, Harris. Uh oh Hang on. We're back in business. Alrighty. So, with this one up here at the front, uh, one of the more interesting things, um, kind of redesigned uh, the chamfer. Oh, the, yeah. The, uh, the nose section. Uh, just didn't didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped. And also, uh, thanks to uh, Raven's advice, we uh, ended up splitting the wingy bit in the front. Yep. Uh, even more negative space. Uh, so once again, uh, just subtle changes from build to build, but when you actually look at them, uh, you can see it over time. Uh, more changes with the wings, added some uh, inlays at the bottom, which is something I actually haven't done yet before. It actually gives you a lot of space over and I, I use that word a lot negative space is key to get something that's going to be uh seriously pleasing uh, in this variant as well um i put a little bit of light inside the uh, engine pod to kind of separate them out yep. since we really didn't have any good uh good space in there so now they actually look like a separate part of the ship which is nice in the next variant, uh, the primary detailing is still done. Um, the two big areas to watch between uh, previous two versions and uh, and this one are obviously the uh, wingy bits in the front and uh, right in front of the engine intake. So actually, if you look back um, from about where I'm sitting right now, which is off the uh, starboard bow, um, towards the... Uh, the, two, the, the other two down here. Um, you'll see that right in front of the intake, there's been a couple of really big changes throughout these. Mm. Which really broke up the line a lot. And uh, obviously the front section still wasn't working, so trying to figure out something to put in there. But we'll see where that goes in just a minute. <laughs> um, so the next one, same deal, trying to work out the front. Um, Gutting various uh, systems and things like that outside, trying to just refine the shape a little bit more. Nothing particularly exciting about that. Um, and the same goes with the next version as well. Uh, both of those are quintessentially the same, just a few blocks moved to the left here, to the right there. Very subtle differences. And then finally, get to the end result after those two. And, uh, the weird thing about this final one is that uh, Hold up. at the advice of my wife, oh yep, hold up, <laughs> doing all the all the shots. Yeah. 
Do you bring him? I film him. Oh, that's nice. I didn't notice that little red detailing. It's interesting. The red detailing is... Ah, it's on the inside, that's why. Nice. I love it. That's actually really slick. Just try to throw a few uh, stores a bit. What's with the key? You know what? Um, I didn't realize it looked like a key until right now. So. <laughs> it's a key. Is this the pinky? It's the weak spot. It is the weak spot. <laughs> So this is the final version. Um, like I was saying a second ago, as, at the advice of my wife, I chopped off the front of the ship because it just wasn't freaking working. Um, gave yeah. it a more rounded look. Uh, definitely a lot more refined. Oh, it looks way better like that, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's night and day. Um, that finishes it. Night and day. That yeah, finishes and the it. Yeah, the rest is pretty much uh, pretty much identical. A few little uh, blocks moved over. A few little... Uh, like that, but, uh, generally speaking, it's, uh, it's done at this stage, so at this point it's ready for interior and systems. Beautiful. Like it's designed to be the uh, sister ship to the uh, other one, the stuff in there, which we'll eventually see. Name? But, uh, this is the SFW Catalina. Catalina. Beautiful. Oh, right. <laughs> it's very nice. Well, there you have it. So thank you very much, Dalmont, for bringing all of those in. I'm going to take one last look down the line so we can get that transformation. Transform! Yeah, anytime, mate. Oh, and then I'm going to do a 180, and we're going to do a birth transformation shot. So here we go. First revision at the front, last at the end. So here it goes. Wob wob. Look at it. Build. It's like a speed build, but like the whole ship. Until we get to the finished article. Quick spin round. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I definitely want to do uh, a few more of these work in progress lineups. It, it helps me as a builder to actually see it all laid out. Um, gives a little more confidence because they all start out looking a little derpy. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you very much for sharing your process. So, thanks everyone else for checking out the video and watching. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time.